My name is Kevin, I'm from Magoosh, and we're here talking about the GMAT sentence correction traps. Um, we're looking specifically at traps that are built um, around subject-verb agreement. And one specific trap that they like to build into their questions on the GMAT is to have a subject and verb that are separated by a phrase that ends with a plural noun. What they're hoping is that students will quickly read through the sentence, see a plural noun right next to a verb, and choose a plural verb. Um, so we have an example sentence here of that. So we have, the fire in California that swept across the Sierra Nevada mountains is R, threatening homes in the region. And so what they're hoping is that you're going to be lazy and not pay attention and think, oh, mountains is plural, so I'm going to choose a plural verb and move on to the next question. But do not do that. Um, pay attention to the fact that this is a very long phrase that's separating the main subject, fire, from the verb. So fire is singular, so you really can just ignore everything that's here and choose a singular verb, is. So the correct uh, sentence is the fire in California that swept across the Sierra Nevada mountains is threatening homes in the region. I hope you found this useful. If you're looking for more GMAT tips, head on over to magoosh.com forward slash GMAT. Have a wonderful day.